Okay, so this is 1,013 hectopascals. You see the uh, pressure it, from the graph on the left-hand side, it is dropping. And uh, it was much higher than that this morning. You can see on the graph, depends on when you've got it set to record uh, the pressure readings. But you see it dropped, went up a bit, and then dropped again. Um, so it is slightly raining, not much, just spitting now. Yeah, g'day, Bush Camping Tools here. Well, I want to talk about using the barometer on this G-Shock GWG1000. And at the moment, we're in the timekeeping mode. So I'm going to go into the barrow mode. There we are, barrow mode. And it comes up with the pressure graph. And we're reading here in hectopascals, 1,013 hectopascals. Uh, to actually be in the barometer mode altogether, if we press D and hold this down, info is on. Just see that again. I'll just do that. Info is on. And, and that tells me that I'm going to be in the proper barometer mode. See that there? It just said on. On flashed on there. That means that the barometer mode is on and it's registering. And also what it means is this. I'll show you. Okay, so when that barometer mode is on and it doesn't say off, all these symbols can occur if there's a sudden fall in pressure, you're going to get this downward arrow. If there's a sudden rise in pressure, you're going to get an upward arrow. A sustained rise in pressure change to a fall, it goes up and down. And the other one goes down and up for the reverse sustained fall in pressure changing to a rise. Now, these are really important to get a gauge of whether there's any sudden changes in the weather. And uh, I would refer you, I'm not going to go into the whole thing because it's in the book, but to read that, that's on E73 if you're an English-speaking person. So I just want to point you out to the bottom here. It says the barometric pressure change indicator is not displayed if there has been no noteworthy change in barometric pressure. So you're never going to see these things if there's not some significant fall or rise in barometric pressure. But in order to see these things, we had to have been in this mode. So here's the barometric pressure graph and the barometric pressure. We're in the barrow mode. And if I hold this in for two seconds, you see this is flashing. That will flash on really quickly there. We've got to watch that. There it is on. And that means that we're in the right mode. The on is flashing when it flashed. That tells us that we're in the proper barometric pressure mode to read those symbols that were uh, in the book here. Here. Write these symbols. If you're not with that on in the barometric pressure mode, these symbols will never appear if you have these sudden changes in barometric pressure. So it's noteworthy to say that if you're going to go hiking and you really want to get the most out of the barometer function on the GWG 1000 Mudmaster, you must have that this enabled. In other words, reading the barometric pressure change indicator, these change indicators here. All right, thanks for watching Push Camping Tools here.